Hi there everybody, it's good to see you. Wait till I try and situate you know what I'm like. Wait, wait till you. Pictures. Hold on a bit. Is that better? That's better. Good. I'll just get this chap. I'm on early today. Um, because April the giraffe might be given birth today. Oh, don't you? I get the chat up, everyone. I'm so excited. Two years ago at this time, I was watching April the Giraffe. Um, but today looks as if it might be the day. And, oh, I'll cry. I'm not kidding you, Zone. Hi, December, sweetheart. Michaela, hello, darling. Hi, everyone. I've done myself all nice for you today. <laughs> I've got sparkles in my hair and everything like that. Um, but I'm dead excited there might be a little baby giraffe. Oh my goodness. Oh, December. Oh, I will cry. Hi, Eleanor. How are you? Oh my goodness. So I'll show you uh, while I'm talking to you. Look. <laughs> because uh, I, I can't. That's why I've, I've come on earlier today because I've got a feeling today's t the day and in the YouTube chat room, many people are on it now, I think there's some like 32,000 people watching it right now, is it 32? 35,000 people are watching the live stream right now <laughs> and I watch it but I don't normally comment, you know, but I, I can lurk in the, the chat room and I Today I had wrote, oh, today's a day, and someone went, oh, Blueberry, I thought you might be in here. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Swadji, hello. Madsen. Oh, I will cry. Thank you, Eleanor, you like my sparkles. I wasn't on last week, but I thought I better make a bit of an effort. <laughs> and look presentable for you and I've lost quite a bit of weight guys as well so I'm feeling I'm feeling a bit thinner <laughs> Yuna hello sweetheart from Korea wow so oh my goodness I put on a Mrs Doubtwater video this morning and uh, I was laughing my head off see, see trying to do that with a straight face it's hi open-minded Yay, I'm on. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Fellow Scott. Teresa? Is that your name? That's a beautiful name, if that's the way you pronounce it. Teresa. What a beautiful name. I've got something to show you, right? It might just be me being daft. Or, uh, I don't know. But my son didn't know this either, right? You might not know it. So I, I might blow your minds here, right? <laughs> so I might. So, it's a stapler. And I found out something about a stapler that for 47 years I didn't know. Underneath here there's a little button. You've probably have seen that before, right? So normally when you staple, The staple looks like that, okay? But what I found out is you press this button and turn this round, put it down, and then when you staple, it looks like that. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea that that, that happened so there you go if you've got a stapler have a look at it you press the button and twirl this round <laughs> things like that just amuse me <laughs> i had no idea that happened how crazy is that have you never noticed that either i know if you have got a stapler, go and check it out. 
<laughs> oh, Marie, thank you so much. Yes, Eleanor, who, I mean, I always wondered what that was for. That's what it's for. There's a, a, a bigger staple. <laughs> oh, so there you go. Something new every day. <laughs> yes, it's good. I, see, I actually seen it on a video and I was like, what? I had to go and check my stapler. I was like, I had no idea. And then this morning I said to my son, did you know this about staplers? And he said no. So, there you go. <laughs> but I done my Mrs. Doubtwater this morning. And see, trying to do it with a straight face, it's, it's, so, it's so difficult to do it with a straight face. But I've actually got no idea what I'm going to talk about until I actually do it. And see, when I put the wig and things on, I just kind of turn in here. I turn into her. It all just comes out my mouth like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Mr. Mikey, you'll see him in the video. See, every time I'm doing like a, even an ASMR video, you'll hear Mr. Mikey going about, he doesn't like me sitting talking to the camera when no one's there and he kind of tiptoes. <laughs> He walks different, he kind of tiptoes like that about <laughs> when I'm doing a video. It's hilarious. Oh, my wee birdies have knocked over the feeder. I'll need to get my son to fix that. So how have yous all been? I missed yous last week. I missed yous all. My head was absolutely bursting. See, because of the, the hormones and things like that. Would... Go, and, go and try it, December. <laughs> oh, Fraser, yes, I did see. I did see um, Leaving Neverland documentary. And I, I don't really... I, I really don't want to comment on it because... A lot of people will probably hate me if they, they know my opinion. That's just the way I feel. But I, I, I'm not surprised, put it that way, I'm not surprised by the documentary. It didn't surprise me in any, any way. Yes, Eleanor. Eleanor, I was expecting another pair of knickers. <laughs> Hi, sweet otter. I'd ordered another pair of knickers for our big bloomers and I've been waiting for, for weeks for these to be delivered so I could do my video and um, they, they weren't delivered, it was eBay I got them so I had been on eBay and uh, looked up the seller and wrote to them I've, I've not received my knickers so they gave me a refund <laughs> Oh you like my hair, it's all, I'm all festive for you today in April, let me just check her. I'm in a panic in case I miss this baby being born. Because I was there for Tajiri, as our, the one that she had two years ago. I was there the whole birth. And what happened was we were all just watching and it was like a bubble at her back end came out. And then all of a sudden a hoof was there. I was like, oh my God. Like that. So I'm excited. I'm excited today. Otter, how are you? I seen you opening your, your beautiful journal for lovely Elena there. And I will treasure mine and I'm sure you'll treasure yours. But it makes the most tingly sounds. I'm going to do a video with my journal. You know, just making lovely tingly sounds and putting things in it and stuff like that. It really does make lovely, lovely sounds, the journal. And if you haven't checked out Eleanor's uh, chat, Eleanor, you can put a link in the, the chat to your um, Etsy store if you want. I don't mind at all. Beautiful journals. I'm frightened to write in mine. Otter, are you going to write in your journal? Or are you like me kind of frightened to write? <laughs> frightened to write in case I ruin it. Hi, just Amy. Thank you very much. 
I thought I'd put, can I make an effort today? I love my journal, Eleanor. I absolutely love it. It's, it's just so beautiful. Fraser, I will definitely remember and do that for you. Nice. Shh. In fact, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put you in my bed so that you're in my bed and I'll shush you and, and you know, tuck you and all that kind of stuff. I'll definitely do that. A nice video when the doggies are quiet, you know. <laughs> You're going to use yours, Otter. I was thinking about taking mine on holiday, but I would, I would die if it something happened, you know, with the packing or if it get lost, you know. So I'm not, I'm not going to take it. But I will bring things back from the holiday to put in it. I think, you know, sellotape. Well, not, not maybe not sellotape, but. Sticky tape, I'll, I'll put things in it from my holiday, definitely. And then I can show you all the lovely things. Oh, Ev Evelina, I hope your headache gets better. That's what was wrong with me last weekend. I had a three-day headache. It was pounding. And when I woke up last Saturday, I, I, I woke up with a headache. The headache was still there. But... I'm going through the change of life. I'm 47, but they say if you've had chemotherapy, it kind of pushes you through the change of life sooner. So I think that's what's wrong with me. And one minute I'm happy, and next minute I'm saying, oh, oh, I feel dead sad. And I've nothing to be sad about. I have nothing to be sad about. And I'm so lucky. And just now in Scotland, there's an awful lot of homeless people. I mean, people that have got... I seen a lady walk by my window the other day, and all she had on was a pair of slippers and and tattery clothes and a, and a, a wee bag, a wee kind of shopping trolley bag that had her stuff in it. And it breaks my heart seeing people like that. And then, I, do you know, I want, I want to hit myself. This is a thing. And I know it's kind of like a self-harming thing, but I feel as if I want to slap my own face and say, pull yourself together. There's all these people out there that haven't got a, a warm bed and a warm house and don't know where their next meal is and I'm sitting here feeling bad about myself. <sighs> Open-minded in a few weeks. <laughs> in a few weeks time I'm going to be going. I don't want to give you the exact date until I'm there and I'll be live streaming from the airport. I'm taking my, my phone with me so I'm just going to and it's Edinburgh Airport I'm going to, so you'll be able to see Edinburgh and all that. So, you'll be there with me all the time. <laughs> the buff carrot. I love you, the buff carrot. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Amy, you're just so sweet. Yeah, Marie, uh-huh. Yeah, the, the, the poor wee woman. And the woman was walking by with her slippers on and it was raining. It was raining, so her feet must have been soaking wet. And I feel bad because sometimes I feel down and then you think, why am I down? And, oh, it's just, it's hormones, that's what it is. If there's a next life, I'm coming back as a man, definitely. Or maybe a dog, because they get, my dogs get treated. I mean, wait, wait till you see the, the bed they've got there. Look. <laughs> Look at this. Look, they've got two beds and they've got their own quilt and they get tucked in. Babies. <laughs> Honestly, they get treated. <laughs> they get treated so good. Oh, Eleanor, you're having a bad day. Oh, no. Watch keep, watch Mrs. Doubtwater again. Hopefully that will cheer you up a bit. <laughs> the buff carrot. That was Mr. Mikey. There he is there. <laughs> and he doesn't like it. See, first thing in the morning when I'm doing a, a video and I start talking to the camera, 
He doesn't like it and he tiptoes. He, he, he walks like that. He, he's got a complete different walk and he walks about like that as if, who's my mummy talking to? <laughs> oh. oh, Elena, you know you can always talk to me. I hope you know that. I'm here and I'm not the type that drops people's DMs. I see all this carry on that's going on YouTube. People all fighting and dropping DMs on each other and attacking children. I mean, I've seen it all now. I've seen it all. Oh, December, you were 43, yeah. See, I keep thinking, well, 47 isn't really young to be going through it, so I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably. But the thing is, going through the change of life, I can't get any of these hormone patches or anything like that. They won't give me anything like that because the type of cancer I had reacted to hormones. So I've got to take a tablet every day to stop me producing these hormones. And uh, so I've just got to go through this change of life, cold turkey. Oh. Oh, Evelina, I'm so happy that I help you. I really am. That's, do you know, it's, it's nothing to do with money. I was saying that to my son this morning. Absolutely nothing to do with money. Um, when I put on the Mrs. Doubtwater video and then someone had commented and it came up on my phone, I was having a really bad day and watched this video and it's cheered me up. That made me so happy. That made me, that, that, that was better than if someone was to say, there's a £20 note. Linda, there's a £20 note, go to the shops. And someone saying, you've made my day, you've made me happy. That, that's that, that's why I do it. Oh, Ellen, I'm so glad. Guys, I'm just going to check on April again. I'm, I'm so excited. How is she? I hope she's all right. It's froze. The chat, but no, she's okay. I can't see her back end. <laughs> I wish she would turn around so I can see her, her bottom. We're on tail watch. <laughs> the Highland Games, the buff carrot. Well, who knows what she's going to get up to when she goes to Croatia with me. And who knows what the, <laughs> the guys in security when I'm... I'm put my luggage through security if they're having a look in my bag what they're going to think when they find this old lady cat <laughs> and I'll need to try and explain to them you know but I'm sure me and Mrs Doubtwater is going to have fun I told her all about the young lads with the, the budgie smuggler pants on <laughs> oh December, we're all on, we're all on back end watch, and if April's tail goes up, we're all like, oh, oh, did she have her baby buff carrot? What did she have? Oh, oh my goodness! I knew she was she was going to give birth soon, but I didn't know if she'd had the baby. Oh, thank you, Lady Trish. I just wanted to. Oh, she's the wee girl. Oh, my goodness. I'm so thrilled for her. And her, her I'll need to write a wee letter. Oh, I'm so happy. She was beautiful. She was pre when I was pregnant with my kids, I was like a big whale, <laughs> you know. But Maria was beautiful with her little baby bump and everything like that. She was so elegant still. I, I, I wore a moo moo. I just, I was just huge. <laughs> Guys, I'll put the, I'll put the live stream in the chat because if, if he's aren't doing anything, I don't know for a fact if she's going to give birth today, but just the way her back end is right now and everything, it's low. It's really like low sloping down and that's the way she was um when Tajiri was born.
What is American for back end? Hmm. Well, I know that they call what we call a bum bags, they call that fanny packs, but in Scotland, that's got a completely different meaning. <laughs> oh, Buff Carrot, thank you so much for that. Evelina, I was massive as well because I'm only five foot so there wasn't really much room for the baby so I was just, I was enormous. My skin was splitting and everything. <laughs> oh. Yes, Otter, I wore a, a muumu, see like, just like a big floaty dress. That's what I wore. But, I, I, you know, it got to the stage I didn't care what I looked like because I was just, oh, just full of baby. <laughs> But it's you like my glasses, they're cat eye glasses. Let's see how I'm guys, I'm so paranoid that she's gonna give us birth to this wee baby. Thirty three thousand people watching it. Thirty three thousand. Wow. The chat is flying. You type in the, the, the chat of April's thing and it's gone before you can even read it. Open minded, thank you so much. You know I love you. Buff car, I didn't see that, but I'm not a fan. I'm really not a fan of Elvis. If people don't know, there's a, a guy called Elvis Travels and um, he lives in his van. And I've nothing against that, and I'm I'm not going to down the guy. There's people. At least he's got somewhere to stay, you know, rather than stay in the street. But as his whole attitude, he comes on his live stream. I swear to God, Buff Carrot's here. He comes on his live stream, and he demands the people watching to give him donations, and he calls it taxes, and he says to people, um, "I am a Syrian king." I you you need to give me taxes. I need uh, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, forty dollars, and it's just that uh, I can't get over it. Oh, Lady Trish, that was a bad couple of weeks. I was having yep. Mia. Hi Mia, if you're watching, Mrs. Doubtwater loves you. <laughs> Buff Cara, I would never, I would never do that. I would never come on here and say to all of my friends, my lovely people that I speak to, that you make me happy and I come on here and I feel good about myself. I, I, I get dressed, I, I look forward to talking to you. And to come on here and demand money, it's just unbelievable that people do that. It's unbelievable. And he says things like, I need a new tyre for my car. Now, to me, that there's nothing wrong with a man. He's, he's, not, he's not incapable of working or anything like that. He could get a job and be able to pay for things himself. And don't you think it's better if you've got a job and you're paying for things yourself rather than what we call in Scotland scrounging of people. What do I think about Berks? Buff Cara, I've I've got to turn my volume right down. Right down. It just is it, too loud. <laughs> it's too loud for me. But he's very, very disrespectful to Rosie as well. Rosie is a transgender um female and she's lovely and she's really nice. And she, she can cook, by God, she can cook. And um, it, it, he misgenders her and things like that on purpose. And that's horrible for, that's like just, to me that's the same as being a, like a racist. If you know someone's a transgender female and they call herself female and you're calling them he and him and all that, it's just, it's horrible. It just, it just thing is my skin. Buff Cara, you're a Scot as well, so you're probably the same as me. Just that annoys me. <laughs> Hi, 
Hello, dears. How are you doing, Mia? <laughs> Hello, my little cherub. <laughs> Do you know, I can't feel it now, but see when I put the wig <laughs> and everything on, it just flows. It just flows. Bigoted, is that what it is? See, I, I didn't know that. But that's, that's horrible to me to do that if someone's a transgender. You know that they go by him or her and you're deliberately calling them the other thing. That's that's to the bone to me. That's that's trying to, you know, that is just, just horrible. I, I don't like Mallory above Cara. I don't. I think she talks over people. Um... She, she she won't listen to anyone else's opinion. There was a stream that I was listening to and someone was trying to talk to her and she was going, I'm just doing my nails. I'm just doing my nails. Oh, what colour of nails am I doing? Oh, I'm just... Do that. In Scotland, you don't do... <laughs> you just don't do things like that. If someone's talking to you, you're adult, you listen to what they're saying and then afterwards you can comment back. Talk, shouting and talking over people does my head in. That really does. Is she howling? <laughs> Rosie is a, a, one of my lovely friends from Santa Rosa, I think it is she comes from. Yeah, Pam and Rick. And um, she's a, she's, she does a lot of different things. And I'm amazed at how, how much she can do. She refurbished the whole house. She can make, like, hooch whiskey. She can cook. She's funny. And she does live streams that she walks about our streets and things like that. And it's really, really interesting for people over the, over the pond scene in America and, and what it's like and everything. So she's... I'm trying to think. What is... Rosie O'Kelly's her channel. Hold on, I'll put, I'll get her channel up. Let's see how April's doing. Oh, they're putting more. They're putting more. Uh, they're putting more sawdust down. Right, that's maybe cool. I also got the gin for a small bit as well. Right. So I'll be going gin for about twenty minutes, and I'll get your batteries and stuff. What about something to eat? Are you having something to eat when you come home? Uh, I'll buy some food as well, I suppose. You getting something? Right, down. Yeah. Mind, mind to the gate. It's my son going out. Oh, they're, they're putting more sawdust down, I'm telling you. I think today's the day that... Bye. Bye, sweetie. My son's with me this weekend. Hold on to get Sweet Rosie. And she stays with Mrs Jen. There's a, a another beautiful... Lady Mrs. Jane, and she's she's just wonderful as well. Alright, I've got you. There we go. That's Rosie's channel if you want to check her out. I'll tell you, I would love to be there to try some of that delicious food <laughs> she makes. She can cook. I wish I could cook like that. I mean, oh, even shortbread and things like that. She made shortbread and um, done a, a kind of stream and dedicate everyone that super chatted and stuff like that they, they donated the money to breast cancer awareness because I, I asked her to do the shortbread because I've been through the breast cancer so it really it, it really touched my heart that she'd done that um, I gave to it as well but I don't when I give to charities and things like that I don't you know shout it for <laughs> the roof or anything like that I do it though Oh, hi, Arab, sweetheart. Get the leg, get the leg, get the leg. <laughs> I know, Puff Carrot. Some of the things that she says is... And there's a, the peacock, she goes... Eh, she does a peacock noise as well, which kills me every time. <laughs> and if you're over in Pam and Rick's, if you do something bad, they throw you off the porch or they put you in the fuck it bucket. That's the name of it. And come on down to Rick's Donut and Carburetor Shop. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
See, I like to go into whoever's stream I want to go to. And I like Pam and Rick and I like Rosie and I, I go into Tucker as well. I go into a lot of people's chats and I do ASMR go into a lot of channels. And I don't like people telling me who I can, who I can't watch. It's just it's not going to happen. And if you tell me not to do something, I'm going to do it and I'm going to take a video of me doing it. Or pictures. <laughs> Uruguay, wow. Living in England, beautiful. Vanessa, oh my goodness. Buff Carrot, that's the thing about Pam. She does, she, <laughs> she, she just tells you straight. She just tells you straight. But there's a lot of people I don't, I, I don't agree with. And if people, my friends, like so-and-so and I don't, then I don't mind them going into their chat. I just won't do it. If there's a channel I can't stand and someone I don't like, I won't be watching. It's like, can you imagine your TV and saying, oh, I'm going to need to put that programme on that I can't stand that programme and putting it on your TV. I don't, maybe it's just my age, I don't get it. Yes, open-minded. Ellen, I know, <laughs> I know, but I, ha I have actually had people that are no longer my friends because, like, I watch Pam and Rick and shoot the shit and things like that. And there's no way I'm going to stop watching someone that I like to watch. If I like to watch them, I like to watch them. <laughs> you know, it's like, sometimes it feels as if when I watch things on this YouTube, it seems to be like back at school <laughs> and I'm not going to play with you anymore if your pals with so-and-so. Well, you know, that's that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's an age thing with me or, or a Scottish thing or what, but that just, that just makes me want to even more. Oh, <laughs> Otter, I know. But I love all of yous. I absolutely love all of yous. And honestly, I've got a big smile on my face and I've got warmth in my heart just being here talking to yous. It really does. And I get dressed up for yous and everything like that. I'm like, I'm going to see my pals. <laughs> oh. But guys, do you know what? I'm going to need to go because... Oh, let me see what's happening. I th honestly, I think... Guys, that's where I'm going to be today. <laughs> if you need me, I'm in that. I'm in that chat. I might not be chatting, but I'm there, <laughs> lurking, watching a giraffe's butt. But I do. I've got a feeling today is going to be the day. We're going to see a wee baby giraffe, and oh, their wee legs, their wee spindly legs, and and within about fifteen minutes it's already trying to stand and they're wobbly and everything. That's just so it's the cutest thing. <laughs> December, thank you so much for coming in and modding. Thank you everyone. Thank you open minded Elena, Arab, my lovely friends and all of you for coming in and seeing it today. But that's where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be over watching the watching the giraffes back end. And I love you all 